Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenka G4 in multiplayer. You could actually use this technique to play any game multiplayer with your friends. I actually used it to play like Mario Kart. I used it to play Budokai Tenka G4 and I've also used it to play uh, Super Smash Bros, things like that. So it's actually pretty straightforward. It's an app or a software called Parsec. So all you got to do is just to go on Google and look for Parsec. Parsec really is, it's for like seamlessly connecting teams together where you can share your screens, but it can also be used for gaming. And that's what we're gonna use it for today. So the first thing that you should do is actually create your account on the Parsec website and not download first. So go into login and then you sign up. And then after that, you go to download and you download your Parsec file. So you hit Windows 64, if you're using Mac, you use a Mac file and it'll look something like this when you have it. So when you're all logged in, you got to verify your, uh, your email address and things like that, authorize your user or whatever. Once you're all done that, you'll get into here. Now, you have to add friends. So whoever your friend is or whoever you're playing with, you'll see their, um, their name here if they've added you or what your friend requested. So in my example, I'm using my laptop and I'm using my computer to show how it works. So for me, I added a friend, that's myself, and I'll show you how it works. So your friend or you and your friend will create a Parsec account and uh, send each other a friend request to so you use your computer. So let me actually do that now. So here on my laptop, what I'm gonna do is connect to my computer. So essentially your friend is connecting share uh, you, to your computer at home. So I'll get a request requesting that if I can accept or reject the invite, I'll hit accept. And what this essentially does is shares your screen to their computer screen. So they're essentially sharing your screen, which makes it like they're uh, playing locally with you. So once that's done, you open up whatever uh, emulator or whatever game you want to play. In this instance, we're going to play Dragon Ball Z Budokai Kentenkaichi 4. What you want to do, though, is you want to make sure that you have your controller set up properly. Whoever the host is has to make sure that everything's set up properly. So in my instance, I'm the host. So I made sure that there was two controllers set up because your friend's controller on whatever platform that they're playing on, be a Windows PC or a Mac PC, will have controller set up and then, but it'll be playing off of your computer. So you want to make sure that you have controller set up. Once that controller set up, it's just easy as just launching the game. It's very simple. So I launched the game here. I'll take a photo actually of the kind of the setup that I got going on right now. So you guys can see, I'll take a photo and I'll just post it beside me talking right now just so you guys can see what it really looks like so they're literally be able to see your screen the only difference is i think it's like one millisecond behind or something it doesn't really cause a huge issue like i was able to play games seamlessly with my friends yesterday so in my instance i have a laptop sitting in front of me i have my controller that i usually use and then this controller is plugged into the laptop underneath be fun. so continue once you have two controllers set up, you'll be able to actually duel together or play games together. So in this instance, two player will be actually set up. Go ahead and pick that. Go solo battle. And now I'm actually able to use this controller to pick the left side. Oh, and by the way, you have to press first to get first player or they'll end up being first player. And then this controller is for the other side. That's it. Now you guys can play together. It's pretty straightforward and you could do this for every game really that's it very very easy all you got to do is just set up parsec and you guys can play together i thought i'd show some gameplay of it actually working so this controller is goku and it's connected to my computer and works fine all the buttons work as it should block works i mean everything works fine and then this controller would be your friend essentially a friend playing on wherever they are in this instance it's on a laptop um, and I have it connected just to a MacBook. So, see, works fine. It's actually really easy, really, really easy. If you guys want to play together, let me know. I'll put my Parsec ID up at the top and then we can play together. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.